In this lesson, we're going to talk about constructions and all the different constructions that we had in this first chapter. Uh, the first one that we're going to look at is copying a segment or constructing a segment that's perpendicular to another segment. Now, in this one, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make a point. And it doesn't matter where you make it, just make a single point. Once you have that done, take your compass, put the point of the compass at one of the endpoints, and then you need to get the other end or the pencil end of your compass to the other endpoint. So right now I've used my compass as a measuring tool, and that's what we're going to use it for. We're not going to use a ruler or a tape measure to measure how long it is. We're just going to use the compass to measure it. Now, now that you have it measured, take your compass, bring it over to that point that you made. So this point here can kind of act like point A. And then all we need to do is take our pen or pencil in the compass and make an arc. And it doesn't matter how big that arc is. You can make it really big. You can make the whole full circle if you wanted to. But that's really all that we need. Now, the last thing we have to do is just now is when you get your straight edge out. And it doesn't matter what kind of straight edge you have. If you want to use a ruler, that's fine. You're never going to use the little tick marks on it. But when I say straight edge, the edge of a folder, the edge of a piece of paper, the edge of your planner is a really good one. And then connect that first point you had to any point on that arc. And now if you actually used a ruler and measured segment AB and this new segment, they would both be congruent. So there's your first steps of copying a segment. You could also look on page 15 in the book for that. My next one then is going to be copying an angle. In this one, I, would, I recommend starting off with making one of, one of the rays of your angle, because your new angle has to have two rays. The first step, just make one of them. And it doesn't matter where you put it, how you put it, just make a ray. And then we're going to get our compass out. Now in this one, you want to take that compass, put the point of the compass at the vertex of the angle, and then open up your compass. And it really doesn't matter how far you open it up this time. Just open it up however far you want, and then make an arc that crosses both sides of your angle, like so. Don't change the measurement on your compass. In other words, don't move it. But we are going to change its location and put the point of the compass at the new vertex or what is going to become the vertex of our angle. And then make that same arc. Make sure that it crosses at one time. Make it a little extra big, like so, because now we have these two orange arcs. should basically be the same arcs in the two different angles. Your next step now is to come back to your angle, put the point of the compass at one of these intersection points, and get the pencil to be at the other point. So on mine, I'm going to have to bring it in a little bit. Oops, don't want it to mark. Oop. Move it out just a little bit more. And right there. Now, take this compass and bring it back to this intersection point. Now, I look at this point right here. It's the same one as this one. Now, what I need to do is I need to create this point. So I take my compass. I'm going to change the color. And now I'm going to make this arc here. Now I've created another point. Oops, move this out of the way. And now I have my one point from the vertex. I have this point right here, which corresponds to this point in my original angle. And what I can do now is I can make the other side of my angle, the other ray. And right now I have angle ABC and this new angle will be congruent. So I've copied the angle or I've constructed an angle congruent to an original one. Now I want to take my segment and I want to bisect it. Think about what bisect means. It means cut it into two congruent pieces. So this construction will go pretty fast. Take your, whoops, don't want that. Take your compass, put the end point at or put the point of the compass at one of the endpoints. Then you have to open up your compass. And the only criteria here is that this opening of your compass is more than half the length of the segment. And you don't have to measure the segment to figure out what half is. You just, just look at it and go, well, I didn't want to do that. Look at it and go, well, this is a little short, so open it up a little bit more. And if you can't tell, just open it up some more. 
and then make an arc you can make one big continuous arc just have to remember that it has to be on both sides of the angle or excuse me on both sides of the segment don't change the measurement and then go over to the other endpoint and do the exact same thing and what you've done is you've created two new points and if you have two points you can create a line or a segment or just about anything then use your your straight edge and connect the dots so right there this segment here and I'll change the color of it let's change it to red this is actually the bisector of segment AB my next one then I want to bisect the angle on this one take that point of the compass and put it at the vertex of your angle and again it doesn't matter how far you open this up bigger is usually better don't go real real big but don't go real small either and then make an arc that crosses both sides of the angle so what I've done is I've created a point here and I've created a point here now take your compass put the point of the compass at one of those intersection points and then make an arc and if you want you can change this measurement that doesn't matter you just have to make sure that the compass is open up so the distance from here to here or excuse me let me say that again so the measure of the compass is more than half the distance between here and here now I look at this and I'm more than half if I went to something like this wouldn't work but come up here now I'm good and then what I want to do is I like to make my arcs on the I call it the inside of the compass uh, and I keep moving the wrong thing so I'm gonna make my arc in here don't change the measurement on the compass now it has to stay the same put the point at the other intersection point and then make an arc and these two arcs have to intersect because they need to create another point now you have the vertex and you have this intersection point use your straight edge and create a ray so this ray here I'm going to change it to red again will be the bisector of the angle now on this one I want to construct um, not just the bisector of the segment but the perpendicular bisector of the segment so for this one it's not any different than constructing the bisector put the point of the compass at one end point and then make an arc on one side and I'm just going to do it like this and make an arc on the on the other side move the point over to the other end point arc on one side arc on the other side now you have those two intersection points take your straight edge connect those intersection points and when you look at it they look perpendicular and they actually are now my last one this one's a little different because now what I want to do is I want to create I'm just going to put this in there for the time being. I want to create a segment that's perpendicular to the, the original line, in this case line M, and it has to go through point R. So when it's all done, it's going to look something like this. Now you can't just draw it in there like that. We're going to actually have to use our compass and our straight edge. So for this one, you need to start by putting the point of the compass at the point you want your line, segment, or ray to go through, and then open that compass up so that when you make its arc, it's going to cross the line at two points mine will do that and there we go now what I've done is I've essentially created a segment from this point to this point and we're going to bisect that segment so now I'll come over here put the point of the compass at this intersection point and then as long as this compass is open up so it's more than half the distance between the this point and this point you're good to go. So I'm going to open mine up a little bit more. I couldn't really tell if it was big enough. And then I'm going to make an arc. And I always make it on the opposite side of the original line as the point you want your line to go through. Put the point of the compass at the other um, intersection point, And then make this arc here. And 
now we can move the compass out of the way and now you have your original point point R and this point we can connect those with our straight edge so right now I have in this black segment that I made that I'm gonna I'll turn it into red this is perpendicular to the original line and it's going through point R so there's all the constructions that you're going to need to be able to do. Um, come to class, uh, I'll give you a compass, and we'll see how you can practice that.